Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to talk to you guys a bit more about Zoomedica once again, as today they announced massive news regarding the launch of their True Forma platform and their first ever sale for this True Forma flagship product that they have. Now, this was obviously fantastic to see when I came across it, and in today's video, I want to give you my thoughts on it and tell you guys where I think this company is headed in the next couple of weeks as we start to hear more about their sales. So for that and more, stay tuned for the rest of the video. But before I begin the video, definitely consider liking and subscribing as it is free and it really helps the channel out. Also, if you're interested, head over to my Patreon where you can join a great community of like-minded investors. And if you join my Patreon, you will have access to my Discord server when it launches in the upcoming days. Also, in the description is a link to sign up to Weeble, where if you sign up with my link, you can get two free stocks worth up to 3,600 US dollars. And after you receive those stocks, you can sell them, you can hold on to them. Basically, it is free money, so check out that link in the description if you're interested in getting two free stocks. Okay, so this is the announcement that we'll be going over today. So it states that Sumedica announces first commercial sale of its true forma platform. And this came out, I believe, a few hours ago. It was really early in the morning when this came out. And when I saw it, I was instantly very excited and really happy that they were able to announce this. So the article states, Sumedica, a veterinary health company creating point of care diagnostic products for dogs and cats, yesterday recorded the first veterinary sale of true forma and officially entered commercialization. And we even get a quote from Robert Cohen, who is Zumedica's chief executive officer. And he stated, this is a momentous day for Zumedica, our shareholders, the veterinarians we serve, and the companion animals in their care. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to the many people at Zumedica who dedicated the past two years of their lives to achieving this critical milestone. It is a credit to both our employees and to the stellar team with whom we have worked at our development partner, Corvo Biotechnologies, that we've created a unique and valuable diagnostic tool and have delivered it to the veterinary market slightly ahead of our previously announced schedule. So overall, this is just a bullish announcement in itself, right? They have officially started their commercialization stage. They announced their first sale ever, which is truly amazing to see, right? As Robert Cohen states, they've been working on this product for like two years now. They've been in fully into the R&D stages. So now the fact that they are into the marketing sales and commercialization stages, that is truly just amazing to see. And I am super happy for everyone in Zumedica and obviously for everyone that has worked with Zumedica over the past couple of years. Now, in terms of how the market responded to this announcement, it was really a bullish uh, response actually. If you look at like stock Twitch chat, Yahoo Finance like conversations, a lot of people are really excited about this and thought this was very bullish news as it is, right? They have officially started their commercialization stage. However, today, if you look at a lot of the penny stocks on the right side of the screen, right? Zumedica is down 4%, SANP is down, uh, BNGO is down, AITX is down, HCMC is down, right? SNDL is down. A lot of penny stocks and a lot of stocks on the market, especially growth stocks, are down today. And that is why Zumedica is down as well. This news is not bearish news, and that is not the reason why Zumedica is down like 4% right now as of this recording. In fact, it has to do with the overall bearish market that we are going through today and for the past couple of weeks. So to conclude, this was very, very bullish news. When I came across it, I was really happy, and I truly am very excited for everyone at Zumedica, and I'm really happy that they are able to officially launch this platform. Now, Taking a look at today's chart, you can see that the stock is down 4% as of this recording, which I believe is around 30 minutes, 45 minutes after market open. So when I saw this, I was pretty shocked actually. In the pre-market, this stock was up at almost at one point, it was up 10% and it, I believe it closed out the pre-market session at uh, a positive 4%. So when I checked up on the stock like 10 minutes later and I saw that it was down like 5%, I was really shocked. I was super confused and I was wondering what was happening. However, if you look at all the other penny stocks, as I mentioned earlier, all the penny stocks 
basically every penny stock actually because some are, are green in fact but most of them are red most of them are having very poor sessions today and i think it's because a lot of growth stocks and a lot of penny stocks today are getting pretty badly impacted by the market we just had a few very good days for the penny stocks so one pullback day was imminent and i'm not really shocked it happened it just sucks that it happened today um, after zoomedica announces pretty bullish news so if you're worrying that this was bearish news or that something else came out that was very bearish for zoomedica do not worry about that as there's only been bullish news that have come out very recently okay so what are my final thoughts and what are my final price predictions for the zoomedica stock well I definitely think that Zumedica has a lot of potential in the long term, right? In the upcoming days, I don't really know how the stock's going to perform. It all is going to depend on how the market is, whether it's bearish or bullish on that day, whether it's bearish or bullish on the penny stocks that day, right? I think that'll be a very big factor into how the Zumedica stock plays out for the upcoming days and for the next one to two weeks. As, you know, as we saw today, they announced a bullish news. However, because the overall market is bearish, it counteracted that and it was a bearish today or as of this recording. However, in the long term, I think as we start to hear more updates on the sales and how that is going, how people are reacting to it, how you know the veterinarians that have purchased these, uh, these platforms are finding it, how it's being integrated into their uh, line of work, right? As we get those announcements, I think that Zumedica will go up and will rise and will start to boost back to like the $3 mark, potentially the $4 and $5 mark in the upcoming weeks alone. In terms of the end of your prediction, I don't really know. It again will come down to a lot of factors. However, I could reasonably think that it will end off the year at $5, which is very conservative, to potentially even $10. Now, that is also pretty conservative in some people's viewpoints. A lot of people have been saying that the stock might reach like $15, $20 by the end of the year. However, I think it's fair to say that I think at the end of the year, it will end off between $5 to $10. But again, this is just my opinion, and I'm not a financial advisor, so definitely continue to do your research and make your own uh, judgment on that. So that's it for the video, guys. I really hope you liked it and found it informative. Let me know your opinions in the comments below, and let me know what stocks I should review next. And I will see you guys soon.